For those who missed the live action in UFC Vegas 14, here are the full card results. To finally open the event, heavyweight prospect Dante Almeida earned his first UFC victory after outpointing Guam's Rock Martinez over three rounds. In the last and final round, Martinez kept pressing, nearly locking in a choke, and when that didn't work, he went back to his strikes, getting in some good shots on Mays, but the night belonged to Dante, and win by unanimous decision. And for the welterweight action, Alex Morono defeats Reese McKee by unanimous decision. McKee was aggressive throughout the first round, but he received several hard punches from Morono, who was particularly on target with his right hand throughout as he clearly won the opening frame. McKee landed a couple of nasty body shots early in round three, but in the final two minutes, Morono scoring another takedown that secured his victory on the scorecards. Let's move to bantamweight action. Tony bravely survived from a vicious attack in the third round to defeat Brazil's Geraldo de Freitas via split decision. De Freitas landed with some hard punches that rattled gravely, but when the scorecards result, it was the Virginia native grab the victory. The newcomer from Japan Kanako Murata shut out veteran Ronda Marcos to secure an impressive octagon debut. Murata had a dominant first round but Murata came close to a finish with a DR's choke in the third round. Marcos displayed toughness and eventually escaped in with a win. Murata now moves to 12 and 1 while Marcos falls to 10 and 11. And for the main card, Corey McKenna defeats Kay Hansen by unanimous decision. McKenna had success with her striking through most of the first round, but Hansen scored a takedown and immediately took McKenna's back and pulled a scary armbar attempt. But McKenna managed to reverse the position and found herself in the top where she stayed until the final minute. Sean Strickland defeats Brendan Allen by TKO at 132 of round 2. The two fighters traded strikes in the early going before Strickland scored a takedown a minute into the fight. Allen came out strong in the second, but Strickland kept the strikes coming, and in the second minute, he wobbled Allen, who staggered into the fence, and after a couple more shots, referee Herb Dean stops the fight. With the win, Strickland moves to 22 and 3 while Allen falls to 15 and 4. And in strongweight divisions, Ashley Yoder defeats Miranda Granger by unanimous decision and finally snapped a two-fight losing streak. In the third round, the Spider Monkey made a concerted effort to finish on the ground, as she used her strikes to set up submission attempts, nearly ending matters with a rear naked choke before the final buzzer. And for the co-main event, Kaos Williams delivers an impressive knockout for the night over Al Hassan. Williams opened the fight with a huge kick to the leg, and then out of nowhere, he unleashed a straight right hand that landed directly on the jaw and leaves Al Hassan out. The official time of referee Mark Smith's stoppage was 30 seconds. And with the win, Williams moves to 11-1 while Al Hassan, who missed weight for the bout at 172.5 pounds, falls to 10-3. And for the main event of the evening, Rafael Dos Anjos defeats Paul Felder by split decision. Paul Felder in on five days notices loss to former champion Rafael Dos Anjos. Both fighters were throwing heat from the start, wasting no time getting down to business. Dos Anjos landed some hard kicks, and while a punch from Felder subsequently cut the Brazilian over the eye. Dos Anjos continued to focus on his grappling game in the third round, scoring two takedowns. Felder had a strong comeback in the fourth, with five minutes left. The Irish Dragon continued to press the action on the feet, but in the clinch against the fence, it was still all Dos Anjos. And that's all for your UFC Vegas 14. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.